Hey guys, uh, Paul here from Remokoi Discus in Sydney. Um, this video today is going to be for the group uh, Discus Garage, and the um, reason I'm going to do it is I've had a couple of people ask me some questions about uh, filters and filter media and my um, opinions on what they should put in there. Um, but before I get into that, I want to uh, say a big thanks to Bill and the admin team on the page for inviting me in um, and making me feel welcome and sharing some knowledge already over the last couple of days. It's been fantastic. Thanks, guys. Um, so that said, moving on to the filters. Um, guys, I tend to break down my filters into two parts, all right? Aerobic and anaerobic. And um, there are some things you need to consider before you choose which path you want to take. I think the biggest question you need to ask yourself before setting up your sum is, or changing your media in your sum is, biggest question is water changes all right how often can I do water changes and this is a big one for me all right can I do a water change every within every two to three days if I can do a water change every two to three days I definitely would suggest going down the path of medias such as K1 Ciprax Bibles um, anything that has a large surface area to harbor and grow aerobic bacteria and that's the bacteria that converts ammonia into nitrite and then into nitrate. If you have a, um, a filter system um, like a dry sump, a dry sump here is even better. If you fill that full of um, uh, bioballs or say Ciprax and they have the water trickling through it dry, there's all there's oxygen surrounding that, mate, your aerobic bacteria will go off. And it will be very effective at, at um, converting your ammonia into nitrate. And again, if you're doing your water changes every two to three days, your nitrates won't have time to build up and you'll be fine. Second thing you need to consider is, what's in your tank? The bio lake, you're gonna have a lot of fish. What kind of fish? Just for argument's sake, this, this site's about discus, so I'll, I'll assume we've got um, a display tank. Um, so you've probably got 10 to 12, maybe 20 discus in there. It's a fair amount. Um, you're going to produce a lot of waste. So you need to make sure you've got enough aerobic bacteria to convert that ammonia into nitrate. Now, because you're doing your, your water changes, again, every couple of days, you won't have to worry about nitrates. Um, if you've got a lot of logs, stones, rocks in your tank, they can harbour and trap detritus, okay, which will break down and raise your nitrates. Another thing to consider. A lot of people don't think about it. It is a big issue. Um, however, guys, if you um, don't have time to do water changes every two or three days, like myself, I work full time, I can't afford, you know, um, I get home, I'm tired, I just wanna to go to bed. Um, I have to get from Saturday to Saturday, and so I took the other path, which is um, using a media um, that grows and harbors anaerobic bacteria. Now that bacteria is, what, what that does is it can, um, converts your nitrate into nitrogen gas, okay, which then escapes through your water column and um, is safely out of the tank. The way I set that up, um, guys, is I'll have a sock and then I'll have a very slow moving part of the sump where the water is not forced. So I'll have less baffles. So the more baffles you have, the more the water is forced through the sump Right, carrying a lot of oxygen. That's great for aerobic bacteria to grow aerobic bacteria on um, media that grows aerobic bacteria. If you're gonna get into the, um, the other path, um, say like with um, Marine Pure, I use it as an example here, but you've got um, Brightwells does one, um, Continuum do one, um, you've got uh, Biohome uh, Ultimate, all those me medias are designed to harbour and grow anaerobic bacteria. But, however, they require a oxygen-free area. So you need water that's not forced through baffles. You need a, a, an area where the water is very slow moving, almost non-moving, um, for that bacteria to really grow and harbour and do its job correctly. So um, if you're gonna get on that path, make sure you don't set up yourself with a heap of baffles to force the water. You don't want that. You want dead, slow areas of water movement. All right, so those are the two paths. Aerobic uh, media for um, 
If, if you can do your water changes often, to remove your nitrates. If you can't, go the other way. Get uh, media that grows anaerobic um, to remove your, help to remove your nitrates for you. Um, and then again, just remember those other questions about you know what are you putting in your tank. So guys, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask. I will post this on my um, YouTube channel. If you want to go there and have a look, I've got other videos about similar stuff. So anyway, uh, have a good weekend, boys. Take it easy.